Corcoran, and I am a certified nurse midwife at Comprehensive Gynecology of Connecticut, a women's health practice here in Hamden. Sexual health and sexual enjoyment can increase quality of life in all types of adult patients at really any age. Many patients care about their sexual health and a lot of times they're a little bit nervous about discussing it with their healthcare provider. That being said, your visit to your gynecologist is the perfect time to have that talk. As your provider, it's important for us to inquire about your sexual health so that we can identify if you're at risk for sexually transmitted infections or diseases, so that we can screen you and make sure you're safe in your uh, relationships and your sexual relationships and make sure there's no intimate partner violence, to establish if you have any family planning or reproductive needs. Are you trying to get pregnant? Are you not trying to get pregnant? so that we can screen you for sexual dysfunction. Things like pain during intercourse does not have to be a part of your life and shouldn't be a part of your life. And addressing healthcare disparities in sexual and gender minority patients, making sure that no one falls through the cracks and we're giving you the inclusive care that you deserve. The most common question I get about sex is many times, how do I know if I've achieved an orgasm? Um, and that is a really difficult, intimate, personal question. So I can't always answer directly, but I typically tell people if you're enjoying sex, that's what's most important. So if you're able to feel an intimacy, if you're feeling good, if it makes you feel better than when you started, then you're on the right track. The second most common question I get from patients is typically revolving around discomfort during sex. And usually it involves intercourse. So there's kind of two types of sexual practices I usually generalize into. One is outer course or typically external stimulation or stimulation of the vulva. And the second is intercourse or more of a penetrative sex. And that can be using fingers, toys, or in most cases, a penis. And in almost all of those cases, I find that the key to helping with discomfort and a lot of times getting rid of it all together is lubricant. So when in doubt, lube it up. It's always a great idea to have a really good discussion with your sexual partners about their partner history, about their sexually transmitted infection history, about their health, and also to use some measures to help try to protect yourself. Checking each other out, making sure everyone looks healthy and feels healthy, using barriers such as condoms or dental dams, all of those things can be extraordinarily helpful. Sexual health can be an important piece of everyone's well-person care. And whether you're being sexually active by yourself or with a partner, it's always great to check in with your healthcare provider. You can request an appointment with me on womenshealthct.com and I'm really excited to talk with you.